Hey, the most embarrassing thing is when you forget to record audio while you're doing an intro. In this video, I'm going to show you what I received from Stephanie Hans in the mail. Stay tuned. So a little background here. This all began when Stephanie posted uh, on Instagram that she was going to auction these four comics off because they were apparently the most expensive ones she found doing some eBay search. And, uh, you know, the auction quickly got out of hand in terms of um, just beyond my ability to pay. This was back in COVID days, back in April. Uh, this was part of a Comics for Creators push where comic book creators were auctioning off uh, books to raise money for the book independent foundation. It's called the Bink Foundation. I forget exactly what it stands for. But it was really great because they actually ended up um, donating to my local LCS. They donated to a lot of uh, shops. So it was really cool. So I saw these four books and uh, I had commented on... I think her Twitter, I'm like, wow, this is quickly gotten crazy and beyond my means to uh, to purchase. Which, you know, is really good. You want these books to be up in price if you're raising money for charity. Um, but then since I had a response from her, I decided to follow up on IG. And I was like, hey, you know, I'd love to get you on one of my shows reviewing Die. And she said, oh, I'm just really nervous with the language barrier, which I was shocked at because her English is really good. But she sent me this picture. She's like, I saw your video which shocked me. Look what I found. And uh, I was like, oh my gosh, she says I might be willing to sell one of these. So uh, we went back and forth a little bit talking about her covers and what she had and what I needed. Um, and she uh, did not have the Journey into Mystery. Or she only had one. And she's like, I am not parting with my only copy of Journey into Mystery. But uh, Fearless Defenders, I might be willing to sell. And so then I was like, hey, if you're willing to sell that, let me show you the other books that I need. Um, and we went back and forth and, you know, basically I ended up paying an amount for the Fearless Defenders. Uh, and I said I will also make a donation to the Bink Foundation. And you can include uh, whatever other comics you want in that um, in, in that package. And she said that sounds great. So we made the arrangement um, that I would get Fearless Defenders plus some other unknown comics based off the list of things I was missing and of course she would sign them. And that is what happened three months ago and then finally from France it arrived in my door, at my door. And then in all my excitement I chose the wrong microphone when I tried to make the video reveal that I was super excited about. So here I am cutting tape with a knife. I was cutting very carefully, no scissor or like large pocket knife. I'm using a, you know, hobby knife to make sure I just get it through. She had posted a story on Instagram where she showed herself packing up comics in um, an artist portfolio, and a lot of people were like, "Uh oh, uh, poor man's comics knew that 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 was for me." I'd been talking to him on IG, and he's like, "That really scares me." I'm like, "I know it's not a Gemini mailer, but how do you tell Stephanie Hans <laughs> she should be using a Gemini mailer?" So I didn't say a dang word. Um, I just crossed my fingers. As it turned out, the books are great. She didn't use backing boards. You know, artists may not necessarily be collectors and maniacal the way we are about them. And here I almost rip them out because there was a bit of string from that tape caught in the corner and I was not careful. But I finally got it. Um, and here we go with the big reveal. First book, they were in these like larger than life mylar bags. That one I actually had, but it's signed, so that's really dang cool. Pretty excited about that. That is Thor 700. Then my, my son came in and asked if he could go on the trampoline. So I talked to him in the middle of the video, which you now can't hear because, like an idiot, I forgot. And then the next book was that one. Oh, I did not have that one. Very, very happy to get that one now. That is, uh, I believe that's like a 1 in 10, 1 in 25. It's a variant either way. So that's pretty cool. Let's see what's next. I did not have that New Avengers cover, New Avengers 22 variant, and she signed that one as well. So I am super, super excited.
That one is very hard to find, that Hastings vari variant of Amazing Spider-Man. Uh, really nice cover, really cool, really dig that. Very excited to have that. And then there it is. This this the glare does not do it justice, so I have got to take it out. But this was a one in fifty variant, I believe, and just nobody was buying Fractions Fearless Defenders. Um, so she did this gorgeous cover that very few shops had ordered enough to get. So it was a very hard book to find. Um, the ones that do creep up on uh, on the interwebs. I don't know what I'm doing looking back there. The ones that do creep up on the interwebs on eBay and stuff are just very expensive. Um, especially in a slab 9.8. That's a very expensive book. Uh, I paid a good amount of money for it, but I think I, I I paid a fair amount of money for it. I don't think that I overpaid or underpaid. Um, so here I am just reviewing the books. New Avengers. Thor. Mighty Thor 700 Lenticular. I still need the, the variant to that that's not a Lenticular. And then uh, that's it, guys. So I'm super happy. No idea what I'm rambling on about here because I'm re-recording the audio to this, showing you the package that I will actually keep because, you know, it's her handwriting and all that stuff, and I'm a crazy fan. And I'm going to end this video. Well, I'll show that book again. So I'm going to end this video by showing you a close-up of those four books that I got, and then uh, I five books that I got, and then I will jump into... Which ones I'm missing, which is very few. Here's a close-up of that Thor Lenticular. The Amazing Spider-Man. That New Avengers. That Thor. And then that Fearless Defenders. All right, there are not many left that I need. This Aliens Defiance... This is a uh, comic block exclusive. I have never seen this in the wild. Been looking for it. Um, back issue bins and everywhere I could come across. Aliens defines the regular cover, number one, but not the uh, but not the variant that you see here. And what's funny is uh, that little aliens creature, this is very similar in the style to the cover she did for X-Men um, Blue number 7, I believe, or 7.1. This Faith one, I have never seen. Just never seen it, never seen on eBay. Um, I liked Faith. I read the Jody Hauser, uh, like, 12-issue series and 4-issue limited series. Um, I just have never been able to find this comic. X-Men Battle of the Atom, I can pull the trigger on that on eBay. It's not too expensive. I've just been trying to find, I'm trying to find everything in the wild, right? You love coming across something in a back issue bin or at your LCS or even on an auction a thousand times more than you want to get it um, off of eBay. Uh, suicide Risk number 23, just a random Suicide Risk cover, but the one that I'm missing. Angela Queen of Hell variant. I just, uh, again, this is one you can find in eBay. Um, haven't pulled the trigger yet for the reasons stated. Journey into Mystery 633 variant. This is the book. Very hard to find, and when you do find it, it's several hundred dollars. This is the book. This is the one big one I need. Uh, I asked Stephanie about it. <laughs> she says, I only have one, and I'm not selling it. I said, that's fine. I totally get it. Uh, this Return of Wolverine wasn't that impressed with it. It wasn't a big book, but it's available uh, pretty cheaply on eBay. I'll get around to getting it soon. Um, this, again, Fear Itself the Fearless. I think this is a hardcover or a trade paperback cover. Um, I have the individual comic in the middle, uh, but I don't have the other two covers. I hope that they're only on this hardcover and not on books that are missing. Dead Island, never seen this one. Never seen this one. Death of Wolverine. Uh, this one's not too hard to find. Mile High Comics variant. I'll get that one eventually. And the last two, um, I'm not positive if the one on the right, the Street Heroes, is even Hans. It might be Phil Noto. I might be totally wrong. Or or it might be Hans. Um, I'm, I'm not even sure if I need that or not. And then the Death of Mighty Thor. This is the uh, second printing. 700. Uh, not a lenticular, so it doesn't suck like all the lenticulars sucked. You can actually see her artwork on this. So that's all I need, and then I am done.